there, there are a lot of great herbs out there, and I am in the process of trying to compile a list of all the ones that I've used over the years so everyone can have access to it. Uh, the top herbs that I typically use in a Lyme protocol are ones that have been verified with Johns Hopkins studies or others. Uh, Japanese knotweed is always top of the list, um, cat's claw, andrographis. I didn't mention Chinese skull cap last time. That's an excellent herb that should be in anybody's regimen. Mm -hmm. uh, garlic, I like. Garlic has some really wonderful restorative properties and antimicrobial properties. Uh, typically, reishi mushroom, cordyceps mushroom, red sage. Now, those three are immunomodulators. Uh, they're really nice for just balancing immune system functions and cooling down some of those overactive parts of the immune system. And then other additions, uh, there's uh, Cryptolepis, which is excellent. Um, Otoba bark from the Amazon uh, Obos, uh, Ubos can't remember the name of it. I may not have that one right. There are a lot of good Amazonian herbs. Um, uh, cystus is a good one. Teasel, a lot of people use that and I didn't get much of a response, but that's a good one. Uh, Biden's Pelosa, Alcornia, uh, boy, the list just goes on and on. And, and that's the good news. You're not going to run out of herbs to rotate to. Um, you know, and you can always get a new a boost with a new herb. And I think that's just really important. 